I'm sure everybody that's listening or watching here uh, saw when Christian Eriksen, a uh, you know a player for Denmark, went down. And we have seen this before, where players uh, without any type of um, contact or anything have just gone down um, and experienced cardiac arrest. And uh, it was, uh, I mean, the scenes and the entire stadium, which they do have fans over there in the Euros in, in many of these stadiums, uh, was quiet. The way that both teams acted in literally protecting their teammate in a moment where he was um, in such a vulnerable and naked and sensitive um, moment it was was amazing um mossy were you watching it live i was yeah one of the most uh disturbing things i've ever seen in my life uh made me think of the fabrice muamba situation which we we covered at at fox soccer many years ago uh a, a non-soccer reference would be hank gathers um yep. many many years ago uh, so yeah, incredibly scary. And I'm, I'm so relieved that, that he's alive. And as you said, it's not a happy ending, but it, it definitely could have been worse. Well, I was, you know, I was talking to someone at the end of the day because I, I, I don't want to speak for everyone, but it, it stuck with me. And this person that I was talking to actually brought it up and says, and said, you know, I'm still thinking about this, you know, such were the, the, the impact of those pictures that we, that we saw that it, it didn't, it didn't leave you. Even when you got news that he was awake, it still left you, you know, shaking to the core well beyond uh, after the, uh, the broadcast and the game and the event uh, and the event was done. I was talking to this person and, and, and I said, you know, the only way that I can even, you know, make it into something better is to think about how bad it could have been had he been, I mean, pick your place out there. And other than actually being in a hospital, he was a very, very lucky man to be, to have that happen in that place where you had the personnel uh, and you had the equipment. And more importantly, you had the knowledge and the ability to work that equipment and uh, the understanding of what to do. And whether it was the professionals or whether it was his, uh, his teammates uh, in the way that they quickly acted, whether it was the referees, uh, whether it was you know, anybody, anybody that played a part in that, uh, it could have been, it could have been worse. And uh, so thankful and thank you to everybody that was on the ground in that moment to do everything they possibly can to make this a, a, a better outcome. And ultimately, when we saw him sitting up, and uh, we learned that he had gone to the hospital and that he was uh, awake, and, you know, now they're going to figure out what's going on. And I, I had a lot of people ask me about, you know, you know, all the tests and all of the medical know-how um, that, uh, that athletes are involved with in nowadays. You know, why, why, does, why does this happen? Look, the human body, as we all know, and I'm, I'm not a doctor, but we all know is we are still learning things about it. And there's only so much that you can, that you can possibly do. I hope that they're going to get to the bottom of this. You know, who knows if he ever steps on a soccer field uh, again, if he feels comfortable or if he is given the clearance to do something like that. But just because you have a, you know, a medical, a physical or something like that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is going to be, uh, everything's going to be, uh, going to be found. 